What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So if you can't tell, I'm sick at the moment. And the best thing for me to do is probably not a sit down video where I talk because I'm losing my voice, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is just like a life update slash Tourette's update video and I thought this would be a good week for it because it's break and I'm home and all my friends are gone. <laughs> I am, yeah, obviously I'm home. You guys could tell I'm in my old room setup where I filmed like all my videos. So for this video, I'm just gonna be talking about stuff with my Tourette's that's been happening lately, stuff that I've noticed. Um, I'm sick because at our school, everyone gets sick, like usually around the same time. And I feel like this is, it was like a lot during the beginning of the school year, people were getting sick. And then um, it, I feel like it just started getting, like everyone getting sick again, cause like the weather's changing and it's getting colder. Cause our fall was like really weird. Like it was super hot and now it's really cold. So it's like weather changing really, really fast. But so far, um, my Tourette's, there can be cons confusing thing. One thing that's really frustrating is when you're sick and you have Tourette's, if you're like me and you have the clearing your throat or coughing tick, um, it's obviously super normal for you to be coughing and stuff all the time. It doesn't usually make you lose your voice. At least it doesn't make me lose my voice. Um, if I do it enough, it obviously would make me lose my voice. But um, more when I was younger, not as much now that I'm older. For one thing, um, when I talked about the video that I did a while back about uh, Tourette's in college, um, one update about that is that I feel like I'm getting a little better in my chapel. If you guys know um, from the last video, I have chapel every day at my university and I love it. I really do. But one struggle is that it may has a thing where I pretty much tick um, every day, which I do. I already tick every day, but I tick more than normal um, in those situations because those are just situations that I normally tick. But I think they're getting semi better because I found a system that really worked for me. Um, I can't, I usually use my phone um, to distract myself and I've always done that for a couple years. But um, I kind of get really frustrated because one, I feel like it's, um, it's like harder because I can't take notes while I'm doing that and I want to be able to take notes. I can't do it because I can't like play on my phone to distract my takes and also be taking notes. It's like too much going on at one time. So instead, um, since I, I'm an art major, if you guys don't know, I'm a graphic design student, um, and one of my hobbies is drawing, I love to draw, so um, I found out that instead of writing my notes, like writing out my notes, a better way for me to do it is to actually like sketch a note version. I don't actually have any words usually, as well. I have some words, but normally they're not, they're not really words, they're more of like um, actual pictures that kind of just tie together what the whole lesson was about. I have a couple examples, actually, I could show them. This is my sketchbook that I was using for it. <laughs> it's my current sketchbook. I just have like doodles and stuff in here. Um, I haven't been doing it for a long time. I've only been doing it for like a week, I think. And I've also been sick in between, so I haven't been able to make every chapel. First one I did was this one. This was the first one I did. It shows a Bible and a sunrise. I'm not gonna explain all of them because it would take a really long time, but <laughs> um, these are just like a little bit examples of the kind of doodling that I do um, in my book that I've done so far. Because like I said, I think the last one I've done so far because like I said, I've been sick and I haven't been able to go to all of chapel. So yeah, so far that's been extremely helpful. And also I really enjoy it. If you guys are like me, I am a visual learner and a kinesthetic, mostly kinesthetic learner. And those kind of combined both of my learning types and the fact that um, it's kinesthetically how you're, it's hands-on learn, it's hands-on, you're like doing it yourself. And it's visual because you're creating a picture that represents what you're listening to. And I think it's super helpful because if I were to just sit down in chapel and just write down notes for everything that I was hearing, which I'm also really bad at that, like it's really hard for me to like write down as someone's talking. I'm not a super fast writer and it's hard for me to retain that much information. Um, so it's definitely easier for me to just draw what I hear and then it ends up um, working out great. I can, ex I mean, if I had time, I could explain what pretty much all of these mean 
in the way that I remembered it. And it makes the chapels more memorable for me and it makes them more of an experience and I really love it. So if you guys go to a Christian college that have chapels and you really like art, and if you have Tourette syndrome, <laughs> I know there's like a lot of things, you don't have to have all of them to do it, but if either, if any of these would work for you, because some of this is just learning styles, um, not even just having Tourette's or having ADHD or stuff like that. If you have any of these, try it. I really suggest it because it's really fun and it's really helpful if you have the same learning type, which a lot of people are visual kinesthetic learners. Um, I just think they're, um, it's really interesting. Also, one thing I learned about when I was in college, wow, I sound like a 13-year-old boy. <laughs> no offense to 13-year-old boys. One thing I've learned in the last couple of months is about Enneagrams. I don't know if you guys know about Enneagrams. I recently learned about them like a couple months ago. Um, first actually from my brother and his friend, and then again when I went to college, my friends talked to me about it, and I took the test, and I'm like a two wing three, which I, I've talked to actually a lot of people I've met that are two wing threes. They're surprisingly accurate and it's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> um, the test is online, it's like free, you can take it. It's like for, it takes a while, it's a long test. <coughs> but it's really, really interesting. I also recently found um, this guy, or band, it's a band or a person, I'm not sure, um, called Sleeping At Last. And I've heard him before from past songs, a couple of past songs, but I found he has an album for Enneagrams and they're like, has like, there's like, it's a nine song album because there's nine Enneagram types and you can have, like, there's a each song for each one and they're all named like the number and I was listening to it and I thought it was so funny because um, they're really, like, really, they definitely represent and they're also fun, like, to listen to like I like them so you guys want to check those out free promo I'm not getting sponsored or anything obviously but <laughs> um, yeah if you guys want to check those out but yeah other than that um, besides note-taking my Tourette's have been pretty mild lately um, haven't been terrible I haven't had many, much in the way of tick attacks I had uh, I've had tick attacks in chapel <laughs> I've had tick attacks in chapel um, not terrible ones. I don't I wouldn't consider I'm still like semi holding them in because there are like 4,000 people in my chapel not even mentioning the ones that are online and I definitely would much rather not take in chapel if I had the chance obviously, but um, I just I Don't know I hold them in semi I think it's just a thing. I'm pretty sure everyone with dreads kind of does it it's I don't know. I'm not ashamed of my Tourette's. I just know there's a lot of people that don't know what Tourette's is and they can get the wrong idea. And that does happen a lot and I've already heard of that happening to me. Um, but I know, I really wish there was a way for me to like, just tell a bunch of people about it. Like, I, cause I literally do the, you guys know, I do the Tourette's Awareness Month every year. Um, and I'm continuing, I'm gonna do that for like forever. I want it to become a thing and I want you guys to share it and tell people about it because it frustrates me so much that a lot of people don't know about Tourette's because people don't know what it is and they make fun of it and it frustrates me because I feel like they should be teaching this in school or something because it's important that we are socially aware of what other people have going on and Tourette's is something that people have a hard time going through and sometimes a hard time accepting. Some people don't even get diagnosed. They just have tics and they never want to accept it. And I think that's such a tragedy because one for one, just like just knowing in general, like going to a doctor and getting diagnosed can be a relief if you just want to be able to know what you have. And also to know you're not struggling with it alone. So many people have Tourette's, so many people are going through the same thing you are. And um, it's just helpful to know those things sometimes, but also, there are medicines that work for some people that have Tourette's. Like, I had them for a while and they didn't really work for me, but that's just me. It doesn't mean they're not gonna work for you. It's very possible. Some people have, it helps with like your ADHD and your Tourette's. Um, sometimes it can do the opposite, but sometimes it can help. So don't think that there's not, there's not a cure for Tourette's, but there's not things that can't help. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, leave them down below. I try my best to answer your comments. I have been super busy lately with college and obviously I've been sick, which sucks, but, I will definitely try to read your comments and answer your comments if you guys try to message me on Instagram or Facebook or anything, I'll try to answer you guys as, much, as fast as possible. And yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully next week my voice will be back and I won't sound like this because I want to do a cover for you guys. Um, me and my friend really wanted to do a cover 
and obviously it's break right now we can't do it now but um, I obviously can't do it with a voice like this so hopefully that'll happen when I get better um, if you guys like this I already said that I'm sorry I'm really out of it <laughs> check out my other social medias got Instagram Twitter and Facebook they're all down below in the description with links thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next week <laughs>